Good afternoon, amigos, from Mexico City. Today, after only a few <laughs> days here in Mexico City, we are on the hunt for Texas barbecue. <laughs> Which begs the question, for us, where is home? You already knew we were going to Pinche Gringo Barbecue, didn't you? That is like probably did. All Chilangos know if you want barbecue in Mexico City, you have to go to Pinche Gringo. Yep. We are in the location in Navarte, the neighborhood of Navarte Oriente. Uh, we've been to the one in Polanco, but never uh -huh. this one before. Yep. Um, funny thing, we get in the Uber, and the Uber driver <laughs> says, "Pinche Gringo." We're like. Okay, the East Day? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, yeah, that's where we're that's that's, <laughs> yep, that's where we're going. <laughs> Excuse the background music here in Pinche Gringo Barbecue, but this food looks amazing. So a little bit of a backstory about Pinche Gringo. I believe it started as a food truck. I'm, I'm wondering if it's the same Airstream uh, we have to my left where we ordered. It started a food truck in McAllen, Texas. I feel like McAllen, Texas is about as Texan as you can get. And then they uh, opened up a food truck here in Mexico City. And now they have two locations. It's very popular, always busy. And uh, well, the rest is history. This, I think the barbecue here is probably going to be bar better than the barbecue we've had in Texas, which is ironic that it's found in Mexico. Another interesting fact is that barbecue, which is obvious to many Spanish speakers, the word barbecue comes from the word barbacoa in Spanish. So something that seems very American, very Texan, even has its roots in Spanish. It should be here. Yeah, today should be the day. Instead, I got macaroni and cheese. We have a huge thing of potato salad. Plenty of rolls. I think I'm in for a treat, a meatless treat. How is the mac and cheese? I know mac and cheese can be so hit or miss. Good. It, it's it, really good. It, it tastes Texan. Yeah. Let's get a, let's get a first impression of this mac or of the uh, potato salad. This is the real test of it, if it's. I hope it's good because we got down fun. home cooking. <laughs> I absolutely inhale that sandwich. I'm already pretty full, but I still have a roll, a small, small container of barbecue baked beans, and then we're going to split the medium of potato salad. We will not be leaving this place hungry. Pinche Cowboys fans in here. <laughs> how would you rate, rank, or rate the authenticity of this place? Like, how Texan does it feel or not feel? It feels super Texan. The only thing that's throwing it off is the broadcast of this NFL game. 
Spanish. Other than that, to me, these like picnic style tables with like paper towels like this on the table, neon lights. The, I feel like the even the airstream being in here, I feel like is something you might see at a barbecue it place in the states. Very, very Texan, y'all. <laughs> Another aspect of Pinche Gringo barbecue that is really cool is I believe they they have a system of hiring uh, Mexicans who have lived in the United States and for one reason or another now live in Mexico and I believe they had a video like over the summer that went viral but I think that's just a super cool initiative they're doing they, they are doing and obviously this company is is part Texan part Mexican it's Texican so it, it's really like they're they're finding interesting ways to bridge the gap and I think we need uh, instead of finding more ways to divide divide our two cultures we need to find more ways to bring them together in a place like Pinche Gringo Barbecue Gringo Barbecue why well, I, I can't say that it's hard to say Pinche Gringo Barbecue Pinche Pinche Gringo Barbecue uh, is doing an excellent job of that and, and the food is amazing so it's just a complete package Can you help us translate that face? That is hella good. Can I say that? <laughs> that is super good. The best peach shaped poster you had all day. <laughs> Unfortunately, through all of that delicious, juicy food, this video is not sponsored by Pinche Gringo. We did not get any free barbecue in the making of this video. However, it is sponsored by our patrons of the day, Bob Umbris and David Legarreta. Thank you both to you so much for sponsoring this meaty video, as well as all of our patrons. You are really uh, what keeps us pushing forward to exploring and sharing the beauty of Mexico. Oh man, I'm so stuffed. That, that last cheesecake was, uh, that really put me over the Sealed top. Sealed the deal. Well, we started this video by, by posing the question of where do we feel most at home or where do we consider home? Is that in Mexico or is that back in Texas where, yeah. we, where we grew up and lived uh, for Hillary her entire life or myself the majority of my life? That's a difficult question, but we have an answer. What would you say? It's hard because I think this year in 2019, we will lay down some sort of roots and yeah. lay our heads in the same bed for almost a full year, but we don't have that bed yet. Yes. <laughs> However, that said, I do think Mexico City will be um, a new home for us. Yes. Um, sort of the first home we've created since we left Dallas yeah. in a way. So I do think there will be some sense of home here. I do feel like Mexico as a whole, as cheesy as it sounds, when Greg and I are together, wherever we are at that point in time, is home to us and yeah. has been that way for the past two years. And like every city, every restaurant, every person we've ever talked to, all of you guys are always so so kind and welcoming. And mi casa es tu casa is, is, yeah. is, is not just a saying, it's just no solo un dicho, it is, yeah. it is the real thing. But at the same time... Yeah, at the same time, I lived all, well, 29 years of my entire life. I grew up in the same house in Felton, <laughs> Texas. And that, to me, will forever be home. Yeah. Uh, my parents raised us all there, other than my older sister. <laughs> Shout out. Well, and the, yeah, there's part of me, a Texan, that feels like Texas is just home in a way. Yeah. But more so, it's just like being in my mom's house, my dad's house, my grandparents' houses. That, it, that just feels like home, and that's where we grew up, and, and yeah. we're used to eating meals there, and it feels comfortable. And, and, and we know feels... our way around those towns. <laughs> because we travel so much, we have no idea. The directions often go something like past the big church to the Oxo on the left, whereas we both know our hometowns pretty well, so those um, feel a, sense, a bit more, um, I guess, just known to us. However, I do feel like Mexico is... I feel extremely lucky and to be able to say that both Texas or the United States and Mexico are our homes and we can we can take traditions from both countries that we love and we yeah. can enjoy both countries and meet amazing people in both countries and, and just like Pinche Gringo barbecue is, is done here really bridging uh, yeah. both, both cultures and hopefully we can do that a little bit in our videos. We're, we're trying. We're doing our best. those of you who always gripe at us to stay out after dark, it is a whopping 8.45 at night. We did it. We're having to leave at the uh, halftime, I almost said intermission, <laughs> halftime of the Cowboys game, but go Cowboys. 
Nala guys so good. <laughs> uh, thank you once again to our patrons. And also, we want to know what else to do in this neighborhood. We're in the neighborhood of <gasps> Navarte, I believe. Navarte, Oriente. Oriente. Uh -huh. um, this neighborhood, strangely, when coming in, seems like a college town. It seems pretty vibrant, pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe some hole in the wall places. So. We will be out again, but maybe not after dark. <laughs> Migos, thank you so much for coming on this barbecue adventure with us, talking all about what home means to us. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell, that way you get notified. Got this. We post a video, and we'll see you in daylight. <laughs> Mañana. Bye-bye.